Good morning, Made for More family, and thank you for joining us on a Sunday. As you know, Sunday is generally a rest day, a day where we can recuperate from our week, where we can really just spend time with our families and just chill out. Um, often our weeks can be so busy and so chaotic um, that we can't find the peace. And today's session is all about peace. And because Sundays are nice and slow, we're going to make it a nice, slow Sunday stretch session. So guys, we're going to take this really, really easy. Um, I've got my water bottle. I've got my jump mat. As you can see, it's been um, eaten by my dogs. So it doesn't matter if you don't have one of these. Um, you can use a towel as well. Uh, but I'm going to stick with my mat. And yeah, we're just going to have a very, very chilled session. Um, and then I'll talk to you a little bit about peace later on in the session. But this is something that we can all practice. Um, you know, we can find peace in the midst of the chaos of life. And uh, sometimes we just you know, get in the rat race and we feel a little bit crazy. And all we need to do is take a few minutes to just breathe in the peace and breathe out the chaos. And things will start to feel and look a little bit better. Okay, guys, so today, we're going to start with our breathing, go on to a few warming exercises, and then we're going to do some lying down stretches, and then some breathing exercises to finish off. It's going to be super chilled, super easy, perfect for the whole family, and hopefully you're going to feel really good in your heart and soul after the session. Okay. So first, I want you to put your fist in between your feet, so your legs are shoulder width apart. We're going to stand up straight, shoulders back, hold in that core. I want your core to be working this whole session. And we're going to breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Okay, guys, so this is where we just take whatever's happening outside, around us, at home, um, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're experiencing, whether it be joy, happiness, sadness, depression, anger, this is a time where we can really just throw out everything and just focus on our breathing. Um, and focus on our breath that we've been given. So let's do that again, guys. And if you want to close your eyes, that's perfect. We're going to do it three times. Okay. Breathe in. Hold it. Hold it. And out. Breathe in. And out. And one more time. Breathe in. And out. Good job, guys. I'm already feeling way more calm. Okay, guys. So we are just going to do our normal warm up stretches. So you guys know when you see me, you know what they're going to look like, right? Okay, so we're going to start with our neck and we're going to move all the way down to our toes. Okay, so we're going to start with our neck twirls. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, so guys, when you're doing this, I want you to focus on your core, make sure your core is working, and make sure you're relaxing your neck as you go around very, very slowly. Okay, 
One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, guys. Okay, now we're going to move on to our shoulders. You can open your eyes or close your eyes. It's up to you. Okay, if you're seated, you can do this seated as well. Remember, all these exercises are adaptable, guys. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. We're going to go backwards now. One, two, stretch out these chest muscles. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, I'm sure by now everyone knows what comes next. It's our hips. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just a second. Okay, so for those who are seated, and um, remember the adaption for this one is to go one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. I'm going to stay seating for this one because we're moving on to our knees. Okay, so we're going to go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, for those of us that are standing, we're gonna go one, two, so we're gonna make small little circles. Three, four, and five. Okay, other side. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, guys. Who remembers what's next? It's our ankles. Okay, so for those of us um, with limited ankle or foot movement, you guys can do your wrists. Okay, so we're going to start with our right leg. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. How are you feeling? I hope you're all feeling warmed up and ready to go. I hope you're also feeling calm and peaceful. Okay, guys. So, same thing. Let me see your fist. Okay. We're going to put it between our feet. We're going to stand up straight like soldiers and we're gonna roll down okay so I want you to focus on your core make strengthen your core make sure you're strong and we're gonna go from our head and we're gonna curl up like a little ball all the way down and we're gonna try and touch our toes okay so let's see if we can do that so I want us to breathe in and as we're breathing out we're gonna go like a little ball. Okay, can we try that together? 
Okay, let's go. Breathe in. And out. And touch the floor if you can. You see, I'm a little bit far away from the floor, but that's okay. It'll get better. Okay, so once you're down here, you're going to use your core and you're going to come and stack all the way back up until you're standing straight like a soldier. Good job, guys. That was the first one. Okay, has everyone got it? Can we do that one again? Awesome. Okay. So, right from the top, let's breathe in and out. And come back up. And stack all the way straight. Okay. Now this one, this last one, we're going to go all the way to the bottom and then we're going to stay down there. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Are we ready? We're going to do it all together. Okay, breathe in and out. Start stacking like a little ball. Use your core and Touch your mat or your towel. And what you're going to do is you're going to walk your hand all the way up until you go down to your knees. Okay, did everyone do that? Good job, guys. Well done. Okay, so now that we're down here, we actually are going to sit. On our arms. Okay, so. so you can do this in a seated position or you can do this in a lying down position. Okay, so for those that want to lie down, I'll give you some time to get down on the floor. Okay, can everyone see me? Awesome, guys. Okay, so we're lying down. And we're going to do some leg exercises now, guys. Um, for those of us who have limited movement in our legs, I'd just like you to exchange it for your arm instead. Okay. So, we're going to start with our right leg. So, point your right leg up to the sky as high as you can and as straight as you can. You see mine is a little bit bent because my hamstrings are really tight. So it's okay if your leg is a little bit bent like this. It doesn't matter. We're going to work on these hamstrings so they're not as tight. Okay. Are we ready, guys? Okay. So put it up nice and straight. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Guys, another way to make this exercise a little bit easier if you're struggling is to bend your other knee. It'll help you a little bit. Okay, so let's pop our leg up again for our next five. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Keep your leg up there, keep it straight, and we're going to go in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay, so for those of us that are doing our arms, okay, we're switching to the left side, okay. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and other direction, one, two, three, four, five. Great, okay. Carry on with your hands, and I'm just going to do the lock, the left side. Okay, are we ready? One, two, three. Remember to hold your core in. Five, other side. One, two, 
three, four, five. Good job, guys. Well done. Okay, other hand, other arm, and one, two, three, four, five. Guys, remember to go small circles. I don't want big circles like this, just baby, baby circles. Okay, and the other way, one, two, three, four, five. Good job, guys. I want you to give yourselves a nice big hug. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that was a good hug. I want you to give your legs a hug. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. That was a good hug. Awesome, guys. Okay. So now, as straight as our backs can go, we are going to sit and we're going to open our legs. For those who can't open their legs, it doesn't matter. You can still do this exercise, okay? So, now, what I want you to imagine is that we've got a big ball here, okay? So we want to go over the ball, okay? So we want to make sure our core's working and that our legs are working. If our hamstrings are a bit tight, we can lift our legs like this, okay? So, everyone together, arms up. And we're going to go over the ball, like that. Okay, once we get over the ball, we are going to stretch and try and reach out as far as we can. And then we're going to come back over the ball. How was that, guys? Cool. Okay, let's try with our legs down. Okay. So remember, the big ball's here. Let's do it together, guys. We're going to go over the ball. Over the ball. And stretch. And back over the ball. Good job, guys. Okay, let's do that three more times. Over the ball. And stretch. And back. Good job. Two more to go. Over the ball. And stretch. And back. Over the ball. Good job. One more. Remember I said if you want to bend your knees you can. Okay. Keep our back straight, our core must be working, arms up, are we ready? And over the ball. And stretch, and back. Good job guys, how are we feeling? I hope everyone is feeling good and relaxed. Um, yeah, and if you don't already do Pilates um, or something on a mat that you can just relax after your day and just take some time out, I highly encourage you to. There's an amazing Pilates studio called PST Pilates here in Scotborough. There's also an amazing Pilates studio in Durban North called Peach Pilates. That's where I learned some of these moves. Um, but I'm sure that, yeah, they would be like, what are you doing, Julia? Are you doing this wrong? Are you doing that wrong? Um, <laughs> but what's amazing is even if you're doing it wrong, they'll come and encourage you, give you adaptive ways to do it. So yeah, guys, I highly encourage you to join a Pilates class. Um, it's just so good for your heart and for your soul. Um, and obviously, if you can't get out the house, um, and you have to do um, some things um, in the house, just grab a towel and do a few sessions like this. Guys, it's super simple, it's super easy. Um, obviously, this is just a very, very basic introduction. Um, but yeah, guys, um, it's so nice to just be with you, to do a little bit of exercise. Um, and yeah, now we're going to just finish off 
with some beautiful stretching. Okay. Cool. Okay, so our backs are straight and this I want us, you can do this from a seating position and I want or a standing position actually and I want us to touch our toes. And we're gonna hold it there. Let's see how long we can hold it, guys. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Who hold it for ten seconds? Send us a comment. Let us know if you hold it for ten seconds. Well done, guys. Okay. Now we're going to lie down, we're going to stretch these legs out really, really nicely. Okay, so what I want us to do is we're going to lift our right leg straight up like that. Okay, then for those of us that can, I want you to bend your knee and bring it down and try and grab your foot. Okay, can you grab your foot? Awesome. Okay, now we're going to bring it in. Okay, we're going to try and hug this leg. Can you hug this leg? Oh, good job. Can you feel it? Can you feel the glorious stretch? Okay, so you can also do this from a seated position. And then we're going to move on to this one. Okay, so we're going to take this right leg and we're going to lay it on our left knee. Then you're going to take your hands. You're going to put one through the hole over here and one on the side and we're going to lift this leg, okay? So you can do this from a seated position as well. And I just want you to pull towards yourself, okay? So this is a hugging one as well. So you can try and hug your legs as close to your body as possible. And this is going to be working in this area over here, okay? Can you feel it? Whew. Good job, guys. Okay, let's switch and do the other side. Okay, so our legs up here. We're going to bring it down. Okay, we're going to hold it. And we're going to hug it. Good job. Okay. Great. Awesome. Now what are we going to do? We're going to put it on our knee. Put our left hand through the hole and grab it like this and pull. Okay, so I'm feeling this over here in this area. Are you guys feeling it there? Okay. Pull. Oh, this is a really, really, really nice stretch, guys. So great. Okay, now what I want us to do is to just hug our our legs. Well done guys, good job. Okay, now another really really fun activity is rolling like a ball. So this one some of us might not be able to do, so I can't really do this one because it hurts my back, but I'm just going to show you and for those of you who can, you can send me some pictures of you rolling around like little balls. But I want you to be careful, I want you to use your core, you hold your legs, and you roll like a ball, like this, okay. You see? Okay, I'm going to do one more so I don't hurt myself. You see it? Okay. So I think that second one wasn't really good, but anyway guys. You know what, we don't have to be perfect at everything. I'm no expert at Pilates, but you know what? I do it for my mental health. I do it because it gives me peace. And sometimes I can feel quite, you know, bogged down by life and things that are happening in this world. And, and sometimes I just need to switch off and appreciate the things that I've been given, appreciate the air in my lungs, um, appreciate my husband, my family, um, a roof over my head, 
And yeah, guys, I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling full of peace. And yeah, let's just end off on some beautiful um, breathing exercises. And then you guys can have yourselves a beautiful, restful Sunday. Love you guys. Okay, let's breathe in. Awesome guys, have a beautiful Sunday and we'll see you tomorrow for another session of exercise therapy.